Hello guys, today I want to give you examples of Laravel artisan commands that have force option to override some warning message. Typical example is on the screen here. By the way, I decided to move my terminal, PHP Storm terminal to the left side. It seems unusual, but since on YouTube my face is at the bottom right corner, I think it makes more sense to have terminal on the left so you would see everything. So my great fresh, if you have on the right, you see app env production in .env file, then it will ask you, do you really want to run this command in production? And this visually changed, by the way, in Laravel from what I remember 9.21 or 22, when they visually revamped a lot of artisan commands. And if you click no here, choose no, then nothing happens. So I will show you what Laravel commands, artisan commands actually cause that warning and why, and how to avoid that warning sign, for example, if you're actually deploying in production. So if we take a look at Laravel documentation, and by the way, looking at Laravel framework documentation is one of the best ways to learn deeper stuff in the framework. There is a trait in Illuminate classes in the vendor called confirmable trait. And the warning message by default is application in production. And it calls that warning or waits for force option to be provided. And if there's no force and if the confirmation return false, then it returns false. And where does that application in production comes from and default confirm callback? And this is the main check. Get default confirm callback checks if the environment is production. So it specifically checks for .env file for this value app env production by default for new Laravel project it is local and it should be local on your machine and everyone's computer as a developer but when you deploy that to live server you should change that to production specifically to call that warning messages to avoid for example refreshing the data accidentally. But if you want to avoid that message and you do want to run migrations or run anything, I already showed you there is a force option, which is called like this. You have force and then it doesn't ask you anything. It just overrides the warning and just executes the command. Now, what commands in Laravel framework have that option? If you search for confirmable trait, there's migrate rollback, migrate reset, db wipe, Q clear, key generate, db seed, migrate fresh, migrate refresh, and general migrate as well. So basically Laravel by default protects you from wiping the database or refreshing the database. But that's not the only place where force option exists in Laravel. In the generator commands of make something, if you make the same thing twice, you will get an error, not a warning. So that's a different behavior. That's why it's not using the confirmable trait or confirmation window. It's just an error exists, but you can do force to recreate the model. And if we take a look at that model make command again in the framework source code, it extends generator command and generator command is used in majority of those channel make, provider make, request make, middleware make, scope make, and other make something generator commands. And that generator command class is an abstract class which has in the handle method, one of the checks is this. If no force option and if exists some file or folder or something, this already exists, which you have seen in action just a minute ago. So that's another thing how Laravel protects us from overriding something by issuing in this case an error, which you can override with force. And the same logic exists not only in make something command, but also in three more, which is vendor publish, stub publish and storage link, which is basically doing the same operations of writing files somewhere and checking if those files already exist. And final two places where I found the force used in Laravel framework is about queues. So queue work and queue listen are two artisan commands which use force as one of the options. And this means force the worker to run even in maintenance mode. So that's the queue listen. And similar thing is in queue work also force exists like this and means the same thing. Force the worker to run even in maintenance mode. What does it mean? If you take a look at the handle of queue work, it checks down for maintenance, which means you have run PHP artisan down 
And in that scenario, by default, queues shouldn't run. And that down for maintenance is a private or protected method of the same class at the very bottom from what I remember. Yes, down for maintenance. And here we have the force. So if we have the force, we force down for maintenance to be false, which would enable queue to work even if the maintenance is happening. Otherwise, we check if Laravel is down for maintenance. So that's how queues work with maintenance mode, but you can override that again with force. So here are a few places where force helper force option exists in Laravel framework. I hope this deeper dive into the framework itself was helpful for you to understand how things work under the hood. And if you have more idea about the topics that you don't understand that much how they work under the hood and I should make a deep dive on this channel, suggest them in the comments below. To get new videos, subscribe to the channel and see you guys in other videos.